Alrighty, how to delete the air intake silencer. So you're either going to have to take off the left front wheel, pull back the fender liner, and you'll get to the silencer right here. Or it's a lot easier if you remove the front bumper, it'll be right here. There'll be a clip right in here, and then it attaches to the intake right here. All you got to do is push down and pull it right off. And then there's a clip right here that you just pull out. So basically you just yank the whole thing off. And then it comes out like this. While you could leave it just like that, it'll mean that the air is getting sucked in through here. And when I think about it, that means it's going to be sucking in the heat from the engine when you're idling. And I don't really like that idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the intake silencer from the actual tubing that connects to here. So that way I'll still be getting fresh air from the front of the vehicle. So the air will be more cold. So this is what you've got to cut off. This goes into the engine, this goes to the front of the vehicle, it sits in there like this. So basically you're going to cut off this tube and this tube. I'm going to go ahead and get a power tool, it's going to take forever. both the mufflers. One tip I can tell you is try and cut this a little higher up so that it seals the hole. I just had to patch the hole because that. To patch these holes I just used some fiberglass cloth with fiberglass resin, wrapped it over and dumped a whole bunch of resin all over it and now it's all nice and sealed up. It's still see-through but it's sealed from the air at least and if a little bit of air leaks through this it doesn't matter so let's go ahead and install this back of the car.